Thank you very much for the invitation to participate in this meeting. The topic of my talk is the structural and functional relationship in glaucoma using the forum software. These are my financial disclosures. The relationship between uh, structural changes and functional loss is a key factor uh, for the diagnosis of glaucoma. There are many papers that, that analyze this uh, relationship uh, using different devices, such as uh, monochromatic photography, uh, stereo photograph, or HRT, among others. With the introduction of the OCT, we have a new method to compare uh, the functional and structural test using the OCT and the visual field. Mm, the glaucoma, the software, the software, the form software automatically analyze this correlation using uh, a different uh, discorrelation uh, of in between both tests. Uh, in this presentation, I would like to uh, share my experience the, using this uh, software in some uh, uh, clinical cases. First, in the first part, I like to show what is the printed pages of the software, because in my opinion, it's a very intuitive method to, to evaluate this correlation. In the top of the this, uh, first page, you can see the visual field. In this case, is the 24-2 theta fast uh, visual field with the black point characteristics of the scotoma. Uh, and in this part, you can observe the uh, typical uh, visual field parameters. In the uh, bottom, it's, uh, you can observe the results of the serous OCT with the optic disc cube and the macular cube and the uh, different values of the analysis uh, using the uh, serous OCT. The different colors, red, yellow, and green, is characteristic of the uh, accord, uh, distributed according or classified according uh, to the uh, percentage of normality. The most interesting part in this first page is in the middle because it's bring together, it's uh, combined both uh, structural and functional tests. Uh, you can see here the black uh, point of the visual field and the characteristic color from the OCT, but in inverted position. Uh, this uh, comparison, it's in different zones uh, that was described many years ago by Garwald Heap, it's the map, Garwald Heap map. In the second page, you can uh, see different uh, structural parameters with different colors in, from the, the OCT. And uh, in the last page, uh, the same uh, other parameters from this uh, OCT in, uh, with the variability of the results. The most important question is, how is this software useful for the diagnosis the glaucoma or for the uh, or to make clinical decisions. Mm, what is the the agreement between OCT, OCT and visual field using this uh, program? Uh, I would like to show in the second part of my presentation a clinical study that was performed in our department of ophthalmology. This uh, study uh, was submitted and accepted in the ARO meeting this year, but unfortunately, as you know, uh, the ARO meeting was cancelled. Uh, the study included 420 eyes that uh, this eye was classified uh, in relation to the visual field damage using the glaucoma staging system. The visual field, yes, was the CETA fast. 24-2, and the analysis from the OCT was uh, the retinal nerve fiber layer thickness. Um, both tests was uh, performed uh, on the same day. The analysis of this agreement was 
automatically evaluated by the forum software. The relationship indicate that uh, the comparison between qualitative retinal nerve fiber layer thickness average and uh, visual field was statistically, statistically significant. You can see here in this column the parameter from the uh, retinal nerve fiber layer thickness and in this case the visual field parameters. Uh, similar results uh, was found when uh, we compare the qualitative uh, ganglion cell thickness average and visual field parameters and similar results with the uh, comparison with the captive ratio. One of the most interesting thing of this uh, program is to evaluate the best and the worst structural and functional agreement in this uh, the six different zones. Um, the best agreement uh, in the, was in the zone two and the zone four, uh, that the um, agreement in the, the zone two is uh, correspond to the uh, temporal superior and temporal inferior uh, map. Uh, it is a uh, table, table, you can see the different uh, black point from the visual field in, in uh, one in, in all of zones from the Garwood heap map, the, the best agreement, the best number of, of correspondence, a number of, of black points are in zone two and zone four. The areas under the rock core is uh, uh, the RS is, is higher in the zone two and the zone uh, four. Uh, these are the graphs from the, the areas under the rock core uh, in the zone two and the zone four. Uh, on the other hand, the worst agreement was in the zone two and the zone three and the zone five. That's uh, one. Uh, characteristic that uh, the extension of the visual field damage is higher than the damage in the OCT. For example, in this case, you can see uh, black points in the zone one, but uh, the color is uh, uh, indicates that is uh, green color that indicates that it's a normal OCT. And the agreement in this case is, is almost perfect because it's the extension is very similar but it's not uh, so frequent is that uh, in this disagreement the most frequent agreement that the extension of the visual field damage uh, is a little bit uh, the extension is, is, is more extensive it is, is higher than the extension from the OCT uh, in this case some one is affected although has a, a normal OCT Similar is the zone three, that is uh, around of the zone uh, four, that is, uh, is it's a, a zone that is not, uh, uh, that, is, that is with a, not a uh, good agreement. The Venn diagram uh, that compare the zone two and the zone four with the glaucoma uh, emifield test from visual field indicate a strong agreement but uh, this diagram uh, comparing the SON2 and the SON5 with the glaucoma field test is indicate a weak agreement. Uh, in the last part of this presentation, I'd like to explain the advantages and some disadvantages of this uh, program. The first is to the possibility to, to understand what is uh, characteristic or alteration of the visual field that was not in this case is not have uh, this uh, in this case has a bad agreement in relation to the OCT. Uh, you can see black points uh, not exactly in a uh, in the characteristic RC form pattern, uh, but in a uh, in a completely normal OCT. This case uh, probably indicate that this patient needs a uh, longer learning curve in this case, or the collaboration is not adequate. The second advantage is that we can evaluate the progression of the damage in different zones. In this case, in left eye, you can see uh, structural damage with some black points, and gradually uh, start the damage in the 
symmetric area in the right eye, but uh, the damage uh, is increasing this area a little by little. And the functional damage is in the same place and using other programs such as the GPA, the local operation analysis. But uh, with this uh, program, with this uh, software, uh, you can uh, understand in which area we will uh, have uh, changes or damage in the future because the structural damage predicts the functional damage in the same area. Second advantage is, is that uh, this program is useful in parametric glaucoma. This is a 68-year-old woman with a normal visual field and a normal uh, optic disc. The visual fields, in this case, the 24-2 visual field is uh, normal with the, uh, the all of parameters, glaucoma uh, field test, so uh, visual field index are uh, normal. The, there are no progression in the visual field index. But in the panel map, you can observe an increase of the an inferior increase of the seed ratio with uh, characteristic patterns uh, from the uh, damage, the glaucoma of damage. But if you um, analyze with this software uh, the relation between structural and functional analysis, you can see that uh, there is a uh, uh, structural damage without uh, functional damage. In this case, you can think that the, you are dealing with a preparametric glaucoma. But if you perform another visual field, in this case a central 10 to visual field, you can find a, a scotoma, a superior scotoma. This scotoma was not found in the CETAFAST 24-2. When I analyze this software uh, using the central 10 to visual field, in this case, the agreement is a strong agreement. This result indicates that the agreement is, depends on also the uh, visual field that you are performing. That is an important thing because uh, recently some of authors recommended the use of both visual fields, 24-2 and central 10-2 visual field, uh, to improve the structural and functional agreement. This is a study, for example, from the group from Columbia University that evaluate a group of patients with early glaucoma. And in this case, the agreement is around 90% of agreement if you perform the 24-2 visual field or 10-2 visual field or both. Uh, in this uh, slide, you can see three different uh, alteration uh, from in the panomac in the panomac in early glaucoma. In the first case, uh, you can observe a damage in the retinal nerve fiber layer thickness damage with a normal macular area. In the second, the normal run of the optic disc, but, but uh, uh, there is a damage in the ganglion cell layer. And in this case, there are, in both cases, was altered, was affected. In my experience, if you have uh, a round of the, in the macular area, you have a damage in the ganglion cell, in this case, could be better to perform a central 10 to visual field. Mm, there are some disadvantages of the software. Or uh, there is uh, the cases when this mm. software it provides uh, little or confusing data. Uh, this is uh, one of cases in very advanced uh, glaucoma da damage. It's impossible to join, to bring together the structure, the, the visual field, and the OCT because there are uh, a lot of damage in this case in the visual field. But if you perform in this patient or very advanced glaucoma damage with uh, using the central ten two. Uh, you can see a good agreement, but this agreement is not particularly useful for the diagnosis or for the treatment or to, to make clinical decision. The second thing is to find 
good relationship, but not for glaucomatous reasons or causes. Uh, you can see this red tie, uh, yellow color in the OCT, and the same place uh, alteration or black point from the visual field. But if you analyze the this ratio, you can see that uh, although you have a good, uh, a little pattern or a siphon pattern, it's impossible to find a CD ratio characteristic of glaucomatous damage. In this case, it's, uh, it's not, it's a false positive because it's, the cause is not a glaucoma, it's rather uh, uh, some uh, dressing of the optic disc. Other possibility is to have uh, red color in the OCT uh, with a normal uh, visual field. In this case, is uh, the panel map indicates a diffuse damage around of the optic nerve without the ratio that is uh, characteristic of neurological diseases. In this case, is a, a multiple sclerosis. Another possibility is to have uh, problems in relation with the tilted optic disc. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, you can see a good relationship between the structure and functional analysis, but it's not uh, only for the damage in the visual field, it's, it's secondary uh, to the uh, alteration in the capture of the this scan, because we can see here on some areas that uh, the capture is not uh, is regular or you have you, you find uh, different shadows is another that the, the other two other problems uh, the alteration of the in the capture of the scans this is a characteristic it's uh, tilted uh, tilted up like this and uh, is uh, very it's quite problematic to have a good uh, structural analysis in this kind of optic disc. Other possibility is to have maculopathies. In this case, you can see here uh, damage, a central damage, but uh, it's not uh, with not a good agreement with the OCT. And in this case, if it's a maculopathy, it's the typical traumatic maculopathy. Other disagreement is caused by retinal uh, diseases, for example, the diabetes, other problems. Uh, you can see here a uh, completely altered visual field with a normal OCT. It's not a locomotive case, it's related with other maculopathies, other retinal disease. Now we're evaluating a new visual field that is CETA uh, Faster 242C that include 10 points in the central area and the other the typical other points from the um, visual field to, for, for to visual field. And it's possible to evaluate the relationship between, between the OCT and the visual field. Probably in the future, we will have more types of visual field or structural analysis and uh, will allow to have a new, a better study, a study probably uh, about the test relationship between the structural and, and functional uh, damage uh, related to glaucoma. In summary, the software provides a good, a good the, the software is particularly useful, is extremely useful, uh, that facilitates the diagnosis of glaucoma, especially in cases of uh, early glaucoma or cases with ocular hypertension. The zones two and four corresponding to superior and inferior temporal zones are the areas with the relationship is, is a strong relationship. And the worst relationship uh, between the OCT and the visual field is in the zone one, three, and five. Uh, the, this analysis uh, helps to identify the areas in which the functional damage is likely to progress. Keep in mind that other retinal or optic disc uh, alteration can modify the results of this analysis. Thank you very much for your attention.